got some info for you about loose bolts and leaky drain plugs. Now, as you can see from my collection of piranha sponges, I am definitely not a piranha hater. I've owned quite a few piranha boats through the years. The boat that actually got me into whitewater was a crossover piranha fusion. I've owned a burn, Machno, uh, a medium ozone. This is a new small ozone. That's a new scorch, obviously, just had it a few days. So my piranha boats have always been really dry and that has not been the case here. And as we'll see in a second, pretty much figured out why. Been working with Josh at Piranha and he's been really good helping out throughout. Without further ado, let's take a look at what I found. This is just a reminder to always check over all of these bolts before you get out in your boat especially the first time and then it's a good idea to check them every once in a while um, if you watched my scorch versus billy video you know that my buddy scorch was leaking a lot of water and i ended up finding that these bolts for the seat plate were really loose uh, so i'm going over all of these on this boat and i have already found a number of them you can see it right now i mean that is completely loose it's not making contact really at all it's literally just sitting there so i got it snug and i kept track of how many turns that was and it took 10 half turns that's with a wrench on the bottom so that's pretty bad i mean five full turns and i really feel like that's beyond something that could have happened just during shipment so i think that's coming out of the factory that way and then I found one of these was pretty loose. And uh, actually another buddy's scorch when we were getting ready to load in on the vehicle, I noticed that one of his grab handles was rattling around. And so we had to snug that up too. So I don't know if this has to do with transport, if it's how things are coming from Prana, issues with quality control maybe because of COVID, but I would recommend you check all these. All see. right, so I'm continuing to try and diagnose this boat. It's still a bit leaky. It's I ended up putting Teflon tape uh, under the heads here um, after noticing that Piranha's not doing those plastic washers. I talked to them. They said that they're doing rubber-backed washers now and that it should actually work better since the rubber-backed washer has more contact area than the plastic washer, which just had a little O-ring. So what I'm doing now is I pulled some water in here water on both sides so that it's over the top. And I've let it sit like this for about a half hour now and then can basically just reach back here. There is definitely a little bit of water, but like that side, I can't feel anything at all. So that's obviously not enough to get like an appreciable amount of water pooling up inside the boat. So the other suggestion that Piranha made to me, um, he recommended just putting water in the boat and standing it up and then seeing if the water is coming out. So basically like a reverse leak test. Like Piranha had mentioned that maybe the water was coming in through my my uh, dry top or skirt and I really don't think that's the case. I know it's not coming through my dry top because my shirt, my shorts, and my seat are all completely bone dry and I don't think it's coming through my skirt because the Royale skirt that I'm using is dr really really dry on every other boat including on my medium ozone. So I'm not convinced at all that it's my kit. I think it's something to do with the boat. Got it all stood up here. And we've already got water pouring out. And there comes more. Wow, that's pretty ridiculous. Especially in a boat like this, where the stern is underwater like all the time. And now I am testing the scorch. Had it out yesterday for the first time. I checked all of my bolts beforehand. Uh, one of them came from the factory really squished and the others were all pretty good actually. I did not add any Teflon under the heads like I have for the Ozone, so these are just how they came from the factory, um, but I am testing them now, and so far, nothing. And same thing there, no water seems to be coming through there. I guess I'm gonna have to do the drain plug test the same. Is they had a big run of boats that apparently weren't assembled correctly as far as the drain plug goes. They said they have resolved the issue now, but obviously those boats are all out there, so they're considering 
picking up like some two ounce tubes of aqua seal or something and that way they could send them out to people who need them just in case they don't have them around but silicone or aqua seal basically got to pop the old one off clean it up and then put some new sealant around the fresh ones uh. and i guess we answered that one So it's now been maybe 10, 15 seconds, and this thing is absolutely gushing water. Yeah, piranha, you need to step up your game. Obviously, if you wanna put in a drain plug like that, and not mold it in, you need to make sure you are sealing it properly. And that is far from the case with both the ozone and the scorch that I just bought. I was actually thinking that the scorch must have other issues because not that much water could come in the drain plug with a stern that was so high but honestly with how bad that is leaking i think it's possible that it's all because of this because okay so to try and show just how quickly this thing is leaking put it up on bricks and we're gonna pour another like half pail into the boat provide a little pressure and just to be clear this is coming from around the housing for the drain plug it's not coming out the drain plug itself